Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can use any kind of curve uh, to drive kind of the path that your particles are going to be emitted from. So let's drop down a geometry node and let's just do a draw. Okay. We're going to grab this curve and we want this curve to be projected on the ZX axis and here we're going to draw, you know, whatever it is that you want to um, have this plane to be. So you hit enter and we're going to do something like this. So we have that basic spline. Now, if you look at the points, they are a little bit uneven. So I'm gonna resample it. And with this, you will notice the points are now even. Um, if you wanted to kind of clean it up a little more, you could do a convert, turn this to nerve curve to smooth it out. But in that case, you will need to have less points. But you can see how right now it becomes quite smooth. And then we do another convert so that it becomes polygons again. And now you have a pretty smooth curve. Now, if we look at the numbers, you will notice that number zero is at either one of the points. Depends on whether your curve is set to reverse or not. So in this case, we want the points to be here. And I'm just going to do a delete. And I'm going to delete by points. And I am going to delete point zero. So you will see deleted point zero, but I'm gonna tell it delete non-selected. So right now, oh, interesting. My there's like a bunch of points that are in the in the center. So let me see. That is coming from. I accidentally drew this little piece of a spline here of like a curve which shouldn't be there don't want that to be there so let's see let's delete the first stroke now we only have one stroke and now when we do delete, we have the point zero at the beginning of our curve. And now I am going to do a carve. So you see that the, the point is now moving uh, across the spline or the curve. If we look at the curve here, what we're doing is we're deleting it, but the zero is always at the end of the curve. So it doesn't matter that we have a different point count. Now with this, you can do a lot of useful things, but in our case, I'm just gonna copy a sphere. We will animate our carve from here to whatever, just for the sake of the demonstration. Now we can do a pop nut. In this case, we will do scatter onto surface and we'll give him a life of like two and one and we'll let them run to see 
cool so now that is definitely working and now we can add a little bit of force to them here and you can use this for anything like uh, it's a pretty useful tip um, I hope you guys liked it um, and I'll be back with more